What is woke? That is the question that is on everyone's minds these days. Everyone has their own answer, but woke is simple. Woke is something stupid that everyone keeps on saying is very smart. Woke is something obviously false, yet everyone keeps on saying is very much true. It's idiotic when you think about it, but it is, it is the curse of our generation. Why are Asian students so much smarter than others? Why are Jewish students always in the top 10 percentile of their class? Why, are black, why can't black students ever be smarter than the white kids? Why can Arab kids coming from the Middle East never make it to the top? All these questions sound different, but they're all the same question. It has one answer. It's the woke ideology causing all of this. Someone somewhere is telling them, you cannot be successful. Yes, you. You can't be successful. You're black. You're brown. You've been oppressed. You've been this. You've been that. You can't be successful if you're one of these. How is it possible for LGBTQIA plus minus divided by side divided by zero? How can he think in his brain, I can't be successful. I'm LGBT. There are very famous LGBTQ person per, per, per people, and they've been multimillionaires. They've been famous. They've been speakers. They've been everything. Obviously, they're just they're just like you. Yet for some reason, someone is whispering into the air. You can't be successful until everyone accepts who you are. No one has ever accepted who Jews are. They hate them. They hate the Jews. Lots, 30% of the world hates the Jews, right? That'll never change, yet the Jews are so successful. Why is that? Well, it's because their parents yell at them and say, you go to school right now, or I'm gonna smack you in the face. And it works beautifully, because if you can't, if you, if you don't go, you get smacked in the face. But in the black community, their parents go and say, Johnny, by the way, I use Johnny for everyone, so it's not racist. Um, you can't go to school today. Why? Well, because you're black and you're stupid. And then you have the kids growing up in Gaza and Hamas is going over to them and handing them a gun and saying, sorry, you're a refugee. Here's a gun. Shoot the Jews. What? You're re how, how are you a refugee? Gaza's beautiful. Big, nice apartment buildings. Beautiful um, sea, uh, whatever it's called. Beautiful beaches. Everything's nice. You've got, got the most hospitals in the world. Everything is great. You're a refugee. Johnny from Gaza. You're a refugee. The Jews threw you out of, their, out of your homes 75 years ago. So you're a refugee. So go kill the Jews. But I have a great life. How am I a refugee? You're a refugee, son. What, what, what are the kids going to think? Hmm. I'm a refugee. Everyone's telling me I'm a refugee. So I come to school and I take the test. I'm not going to get a good mark on the test. Why? I'm a refugee. You see what's going on here? So the kids who their parents and community and society and government say, you're going to be the most successful person in the world. Deal with it or or you're just a waste of, waste of your potential. They all become smart. They all become great. They all become our presidents. They become everything. They become rich. Right? Elon Musk. His father beat him up as a kid. He worked all these dick jobs. But one thing that's for certain is that he knew in his mind that if he worked really hard, and trust me, Elon worked crazy hours, just crazy hours every week. He slept on the floor of his factory because he knew that if he did the work, he could make it. And he did make it. And he worked hard. And he worked and he worked and he worked. And he used his own mind, right? He used his own mind to say, I can create something great. And he created PayPal. And the rest of the day is history. And all these people who made it, why? Because they said, if I just work hard, I can do it. And you have these black parents who are telling these, their kids inside of America saying, sorry, you're black. You cannot make it. There is nothing you can do. The only possible way for you to make it is for DEI and for you to let you make it. But other than that, you'll never be smarter than the wider Asian kids. You just can't. You're black. How are these kids supposed to break out of this? They're unhealthy, they're fat, they're lazy, they do drugs, they smoke weed, they drink a ton. 
and they're like, I, my life is terrible. I'm unhealthy. I want to blame the white people for being unhealthy. What? No. There's actually a statistic that um, black women have more of a chance of surviving childbirth if they have a black doctor. And they're simple. And they're like, oh, look, racism. But the white, the white doctors killed them. No, stupid. Because the black doc, the black women trust the black doctors enough to tell them the relevant information in order and to listen to them. If a black doctor tells the patient to do something, there's more of a chance that the black women will listen. If the white doctor tells the black woman to do something, there's more of a chance that the, doc the black woman will not listen to her doctor. It's idiotic, but why does she do this? Because the community says, don't listen. Don't listen. The white person, the white doctor is trying to oppress you. Makes no sense. That's what woke is. Woke is something that makes no sense. But everyone keeps on saying it's true. Is Claudine Gay actually qualified to be the president of Harvard, the United States' most prestigious university? No. Everyone knows this. Her white colleagues are inherently more qualified. Their parents have been telling them since childbirth, you're going to become the president of Harvard. Work really hard and you'll make it. On the other hand, her parents have been telling her her whole life, you're black, you can't really do anything. And even though you're technically smart, you, you're not going to be as good as the white kids. So, of course, she doesn't become as good as the white kids. She, she hasn't been. Clarence Thomas, on the other hand, has has had a bad life, but he's everyone around him these at least especially these days. I know this controversy like thirty years ago, but everybody is saying Clarence Thomas is real smart, and he made it, and he's genius. And people are going to say, "Well, we're not questioning Justice Roberts." Yeah, well, because there's no reason to to question Supreme Court justices. The only reason why we're questioning him is because you're racist. That's it. But if 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 black people would have just been it would have been normal to go to the Supreme Court, yeah, no one would have questioned him. Of course, you're smart, you earned it. So why do we keep on doing this? But it's not only this; it's other things. Woke is permeating through our entire society, just like there are refugees in Gaza after seventy five years, just like. We go, we go to, it's idiotic, but we go to Iraq and we, we tell the kids, we're going to bring the American dream. What is the American dream? Freedom? Happiness? No. The American dream is not specific to America. The American dream is, you can make it if you just want to. There are many dumb people. But they become extremely successful because they work so hard. And they're white. A lot of them are white. And they, they literally slave themselves. Say, I'm going to make it. And they smash their heads against the wall a billion times. And then they guess what? They make it. That's the American dream. The American dream is if you put in the work and you keep on trying, you're going to get there. And we bring that to Iraq. And we bring that to Afghanistan. And we bring that to Syria. And we tell them, if you work really hard, you're going to get the American dream. And, but we leave their leaders in place. And what do these leaders of these places say? You're refugees. You suck. You can't do anything. You're useless. You're garbage. You're lesser. And lo and behold, the American dream doesn't work there. Because the leaders have to go and say, you're worth it. You can make it. You are smart. You're smart enough to make it. That's why in Israel, even the Arabs... They make the most money. They have the best lives throughout the entire Middle East. Why is that? Well, because the society keeps on telling them that, yes, you're Arab, but you can make it. And yeah, you might have a little heart. You might have not learned Hebrew in, in, in the, for the first few years of your life. So, yes, we'll give you a little extra time to write out your test because you're just maybe not as good as writing Hebrew. Okay, great. But you can make it. You're going to make it. A majority of doctors in Israel are Arabs. People don't know this, but the majority of doctors in Israel are Arabs. Because the Israeli really side keeps telling them, no, no, you can make it. Come to our universities. We have quotas for you. You can make it. Stop saying that you can't make it. You don't want to come. No, there's space for you. Come. Not there's space for you. Come sit here. Come here because you can make it. It's not like, oh, you're blind. Come to our university and sit there and do nothing because you're stupid. No, no, no. You're smart. Come to university because you're smart. It's very different. 
It's not that your technical IQ is lower, so therefore you're not as smart. No, 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 your IQ is lower because you didn't learn Hebrew for your formative years. But that doesn't mean you're dumber, right? You think a Palestinian, uh, an uh, uh, Arab in, in Israel is different than the black growing up in the United States, the, in, in these poor communities, right? The Arab in Israel didn't learn Hebrew for his first few years. The the black in, kid in a, an African-American in, in America didn't learn English properly for his formative years. It's the same thing. But the difference is that we're telling them. One, kid's, one, one society is telling them, come here. We know your score is not as good, but you're smart. You're smart. You become a doctor. We're going to trust you with our with our children, with our grandmothers. We're going to trust them with your. We're going to trust you with their lives. And the other side, it's you're stupid. <laughs> That's it. You just you can't get to the to, next to the white kids. You can't do it. It's ridiculous. That's what it is. It's, it's obvious nonsense. So, the only way to change it is to get rid of those leaders. And then put in place leaders who will tell the children, you will make it. You can do it. And actually tell everyone that you might be 40 years old, but if you work hard for the next 10 years, by the time you're 50, you'll get a degree, a master's in engineering, and you'll get a job paying $150,000 because you can. Right now, Joe Biden is telling Americans, especially black Americans, that you can't. He hates black people. He's always hated black people. So it kind of makes sense that Joe Biden would say that the black people, you're stupid, you're nothing. You can't make it. I have to hire you in order to become the vice president. There's no way for you to become vice president if I don't bring you along with me. It's obvious nonsense. We gotta put in place leaders. You have to become, and if, and if you like, but there's no one, no one's doing it. Become the leader. And if, if you can't become a leader, go into the streets, H help people, say you can become, create organizations, do all the things. Because without that, you're just going to become, you're going to say nothing. You're just going to stay what you are. And you keep, every, every generation, right, Palestinians, for 75 years, their great, great, great grandparents have been kicked out of, the, of their homes. That's what they're saying. That's why they're so angry. That's a big argument that they get kicked out or they fled them by themselves of the war what does that have to do with you what do we mean you you had this great life you've been born five years ago no you are going to make it and if you want one day you can become the president of israel an arab can become the prime minister of israel if if you would just work for it if you would just work hard enough you can make it If there is a citizen in Gaza, a Palestinian, who moves to America today, has a child there, that child can become the leader of the free world if only he worked hard for it, understood what freedom meant, fought for freedom, fought for American values, fought for the right to say, I can make it because I'm smart enough. He can become president of the United States. It's kind of amazing. So oh, we got to do it. That's it. You just gotta keep, gotta do it. We gotta tell everyone. You gotta yell into their face. You're not nothing. You can make it, and you are smart. And there might be other things that are causing you currently not to be smart. Just change it.